Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Antibody-based therapy for cancer has become established over the past 15 years and is now one of the most successful and important strategies for treating patients with hematological malignancies and solid tumor. The fundamental basis of antibody-based therapy of tumor dates back to the original observations of antigen expression by tumor cells through sterological techniques in the 1960s. Molecular techniques that can alter antibody pharmacokinetics, effector function, size and immunogenicity, have emerged as key elements in the development of new antibody-based therapies. Evidence from clinical trials of antibodies in cancer patients has revealed the importance of iterative approaches, for the selection of antigen targets and optimal antibodies, including the affinity and avidity of antibodies, the choice of antibody construct, the therapeutic approach, and the need to critically examine the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties of antibodies in early clinical trials. Here, we discuss the important features of anti-tumor antibodies, with a focus on how such antibodies promote immune effector mechanisms to control tumor growth. Approved and in-clinical phase therapeutic antibodies, and Creative Biolabs antibody-related products and services are also mentioned. Monoclonal antibodies that bind directly to cancer cells can mediate their anti-tumor effects through various mechanisms. Therapeutic antibodies mediate antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity by immune effector cells that express immunoreceptor tyrosine-based activation motifs. Antibody FC domain interacts the FC receptors on phagocytes to mediate antibody-dependent cellular phagocytosis which triggers the engulfment of opsonized cells. Programmed cell death can be mediated by antibodies via FC-gamma receptor-mediated cross-linking. In complement-dependent cytotoxicity, C1Q complement factor interacts with antibody CH2 region to induce the formation of membrane attack complex for the cytolysis. C3B generated in CDC interacts with the C3B receptor, and mediates complement-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity which facilitates phagocytosis and cytolysis. Antibodies also have direct effects on target cells by blocking the ligand binding, inhibiting the receptor dimerization, and inducing apoptotic signaling. Tumor cell killing by antibodies can be summarized as being due to several mechanisms. Direct tumor cell killing can be elicited by receptor agonist activity, such as an antibody binding to a tumor cell surface receptor and activating it, leading to apoptosis. It can also be mediated by receptor antagonist activity, such as an antibody binding to a cell surface receptor and blocking dimerization, kinase activation and downstream signaling, leading to reduced proliferation and apoptosis. An antibody binding to an enzyme can lead to neutralization, signaling abrogation and cell death, and conjugated antibody can be used to deliver a payload, such as a drug, toxin, small interfering RNA or radioisotope, to a tumor cell. Immune-mediated tumor cell killing can be carried out by the induction of phagocytosis, complement activation, antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, genetically modified T-cells being targeted to the tumor by single-chain variable fragment, T-cells being activated by antibody-mediated cross-presentation of antigen to dendritic cells, and inhibition of T-cell inhibitory receptors, such as cytotoxic T-lymphocyte-associated antigen. 
Vascular and stromal cell ablation can be induced by vasculature receptor antagonism or ligand trapping, stromal cell inhibition, delivery of a toxin to stromal cells, and delivery of a toxin to the vasculature. Successful monoclonal antibody therapeutics have been based on a number of strategies. IgG molecules that bind to target cancer cell can mediate antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity by immune effector cells, induce complement-dependent cytotoxicity or result in the direct signaling-induced death of cancer cells. IgG monoclonal antibodies can also be used to inhibit angiogenesis or to block inhibitory signals, thereby resulting in a stronger anti-tumor T-cell response. Radioimmunoconjugate deliver radioisotopes to the cancer cells, whereas antibody drug conjugates deliver highly potent toxic drugs to the cancer cells. Antibody variable regions are also used to retarget immune effector cells towards cancer cells through the use of bispecific monoclonal antibodies that recognize cancer cells with one arm, and activating antigens on immune effector cells with the other arm or through a gene therapy approach in which DNA for a monoclonal antibody variable region fused to signaling peptides is transferred to T-cells, thereby rendering them chimeric antigen receptor T-cells specific for the tumor. Although conventional ligisotypes are the mainstream antibodies for cancer therapies, numerous of recombinant and engineered forms of antibodies, such as single-chain antibody fragment, minibody, diabetes, single-domain antibody, and bispecific antibody, have been developed and showed their excellent therapeutic efficacy. The safety and efficacy of therapeutic monoclonal antibodies in oncology vary depending on the nature of the target antigen. Ideally, the target antigen should be abundant and accessible and should be expressed homogeneously, consistently and exclusively on the surface of cancer cells. Antigen secretion should be minimal, as secreted antigens can bind the antibody in the circulation, and could prevent sufficient antibody from binding to the tumor. If the desired mechanism of action is antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity or complement-dependent cytotoxicity, then it is desirable that the antigen-antibody complex should not be rapidly internalized, so as to maximize the availability of the FC region to immune effector cells and complement proteins, respectively. By contrast, Good internalization is desirable for antibodies or proteins that deliver toxins into the cancer cell, and for antibodies the action of which is primarily based on the downregulation of cell surface receptors. Tumor-associated antigens recognized by therapeutic monoclonal antibodies fall into several different categories. Hematopoietic differentiation antigens are glycoproteins that are usually associated with cluster of differentiation groupings and include CD20, CD30, CD33 and CD52. Cell surface differentiation antigens are a diverse group of glycoproteins and carbohydrates that are found on the surface of both normal and tumor cells. Antigens that are involved in growth and differentiation signaling are often growth factors and growth factor receptors. Growth factors that are targets for antibodies in cancer patients include CEA2, EGFR, ERBB2, ERBB3, HGFR, IGF1R, F3, TRAIL-R1, TRAIL-R2 and RONCAL. Antigens involved in angiogenesis are usually proteins or growth factors that support the formation of new microvasculature, including VEGF, VEGF, integrin alpha beta 3 and integrin alpha 5 beta one Tumor stroma and the extracellular matrix are indispensable support structures for a tumor. Stromal and extracellular matrix antigens that are therapeutic targets include FAP and tenacin. Considerable effort has recently been invested in identifying new antigen targets that are suitable for antibody-based therapies in cancer. Serological, genomic, proteomic and bioinformatic databases have been used to identify antigens and receptors that are overexpressed in tumor cell populations or that are linked to gene mutations identified as driving cancer cell proliferation. Examples of antigens that have been identified as suitable targets for antibody therapy with these approaches include IGF-3, HGFR, CTLA-4 and FAP. Creative Biolabs is a leading service provider that focuses on developing proteins and high-specific, high-affinity monoclonal antibodies for research, diagnostic and therapeutic use. 
Our service portfolio includes biofishing platform, epitope mapping, antibody discovery using phage display technology, and a wide range of antibody gene engineering, affinity maturation and humanization services. We also focus on biomacromolecules engineering for research, diagnostic and therapeutic use. Our service portfolio includes mouse and rat monoclonal antibody production using hybridoma technology, humanized antibody production using phage display technology and a wide range of antibody gene engineering, affinity maturation and humanization services. In addition, we are well recognized in manufacturing SCFB slash fab and full size IG antibodies. In addition, OEM services for bulk scale antibody manufacturing, including bacterial production of SCFB, diabetes, tandem SCFB, mini antibody and fab, and mammalian cell expression of mini body, chimeric IG and IG, are also available at the most competitive price in the industry. Our manufacturing services that cover gene synthesis, vector construction, pilot expression, process optimization, fermentation and protein purification. Besides, we can generate your stable cell line with the best quality and competitive price. As a global company, we have more than 200 talented and well-trained scientists located in different continents working closely with partners from the entire world to develop and produce medicines of tomorrow. Specifically, we are the established leading expert in TCR and CAR-T, CAR and K-cell immune therapy development, as we offer the one-stop custom services that cover the entire new drug development pipeline. Additionally, we also offer an exclusive line of ready-to-use TCR and CAR-T, CAR and K-cell construction products, such as virus packaging, purification, expansion and titer determination kits. Furthermore, we have built up a unique unparalleled car construction and production platform for all four car generations. We have established our leadership in targeted immunotherapy and antibody drug conjugate development. We offer our customers with comprehensive one-stop shop of all aspects in ADC research and evaluation, ranging from antigen selection, antibody production or optimization, payload linker synthesis, ADC conjugation, to various stages of ADC characterization and preclinical evaluation. Furthermore, our inventory also contains an extensive list of linkers, payloads, payload linker sets, and commonly used ADCs for quick deployment and concept validation. In addition, we are available to supply all kinds of recombinant and engineered antibodies that can be applicated in various research uses. Our antibody and related products include antibody and peptide libraries, therapeutic proteins, engineered antibodies, cell lines, and antibody-like scaffold proteins. Our engineered antibody products cover a wide range of formats, such as glyco-engineered antibodies, single-domain antibodies, bispecific antibodies, antibody drug conjugates, immunotoxins, antibody cytokine fusion proteins, and intrabodies. Creative Biolabs has becoming a leader of recombinant antibody discovery and manufacturing, providing high-quality service to customers in academia and industry fields all over the world. If you are interested in learning more about Creative Biolabs antibody-related products or services, please feel free to call our service hotline, 1-631-381-2994. You can also direct to our website, creativebiolabs.com for more details.